Over 10 years in the making, Vega will launch from a site already rich in history. The launch pad is the same spot where Ariane 1, Ariane 2 and Ariane 3 lifted off during the first decade of Europe's flights from the Guyana Space Center between 1979 and 1989. The facility has been rebuilt for the new Vega vehicle. For her first mission, which is a qualification flight, Vega will deliver a series of small satellites. A mission to study rotating bodies in space called LARIS is the main passenger. Almasat is a technological demonstrator and seven CubeSats, one kilo each, which are built by European universities. Vega is a European launcher that began as an Italian program. The Italians launched satellites on an early U.S. vehicle called Scout from the 1960s through the late 1980s. Meanwhile, Italy also contributed to solid propulsion technology whose fruits were used in the Ariane program on the boosters of Ariane 4 and 5. Another Italian program called Zefiro developed bigger boosters. Vega is the fusion of these efforts. Europe's new four-stage launcher has been designed for the growing number of small spacecraft. There are a total of nine satellites on its first flight. That's a lot. When Vega was first proposed to ESA, there were questions about its marketability. At that time, in the 1990s, nobody was sure that the launcher would attract the customers and their payloads that it has today. Things changed. What happened is that we have experienced, uh, for example, the, the, the advantages but also the disadvantages of the very large, uh, very large uh, missions, especially in the field of uh, Earth observation. After, uh, after uh, having developed the huge uh, platforms, then, uh, then uh, the trend was to separate the individual instruments and to have specific missions. And I think this uh, has led to a smaller payload, so with, uh, with a small size uh, compatible with the Vega capability. Today you can do much more than it was possible 20 years ago. Qualifying a new launch system isn't like testing a car. You can't do everything on the ground. It's impossible to anticipate or simulate every situation that may come up. The most you can do is chalk up all the experience you possibly can before the first launch. I think this is the normal practice in such a, such a business. You, you cannot arrive to a launch having 100% uh, chance of uh, success. This is not uh, realistic. The important thing is to build all the elements that allow for, to take reasonable and sound uh, solutions. Because the, the first Vega qualification launch will not end the story. It's not just it enter into the, into the, the market and it, that's it. There will be also a process to improve the launch system, to, to get closer to the customer needs. All this process needs to, be, needs, to, needs to have elements in order to make it sound. Each day, during its decade of development, the multicultural Vega teams gained these elements in technical experience, but also in human terms for working together. This precious knowledge will be called on for the future use of the Vega system.